Hey everyone, how you doing today? It's Marla. Hopefully everyone is doing well. Another skincare video. Sorry guys. <laughs> Another skincare video, but I know people out there I think love skincare as much as I do. I actually have gotten more into skincare than I have into makeup. I have kind of focused my attention on skincare and I love to mask. I probably mask at least twice a week and then in between masking I may derma braid my skin or I may just do a facial massage or something like that but I do enjoy doing something to my face once a day. I've gotten some great masks from the company Patchology. They've always been really great to me. If I've asked them to send me a mask or two to demonstrate on my YouTube channel they've always been extremely generous and sent me out the mask to demonstrate. So that's what this video is about the mask I'm going to be demonstrating. They're going to be from Patchology. I'm not sure if I'm going to have one or two masks to demo in this particular video. If not, I'll do one now and then one next week. Masks from Patchology. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to test out the first product from Patchology. This is their Flash Patch Rejuvenating Eye Gels. These eye gels were sent to me from Patchology for my review. I love eye gels. I have so many different kinds from so many different brands. Just love what they do to my under eye area. I love Patchology's packaging, kind of that bluish green with the silver. <laughs> Something about it always reminds me of a spa. What these eye gels are supposed to do is really perk up your eyes, reduce puffiness, reduce the look of fatigue, help with dryness, add hydration under the eyes, and really help to make your eyes look less tired. They contain caffeine and also hydrolyzed collagen, and you are supposed to look like you got a full eight hours of sleep every day. What I love about these hydrogels is they are sealed so well. They come with this little kind of spatula so you can scoop them out and they are loaded with product. That's something that's really important to me. I, I hate putting a dry eye gel under my eyes. These have so much product and the container is packed with eye gels. You really do get your money's worth from this product. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to apply these and the one thing they do say about these hydrogels is that they stay put under your eyes. So that is something that's really important to me. I hate when I put these eye gels on and they're sliding down the side of my face. They're supposed to stay put so that the caffeine and the hydrolyzed collagen do what it's supposed to do and add that moisture to the under eye area. And as you can see, there was so much product on these eye gels, I decided not to waste it and just kind of slather it all over my face and my neck. They contain Patchology's patented HydraSurge 5 moisture system. What that's supposed to do is it's supposed to be more effective than topical creams or serums. Really, the patch is supposed to help accelerate the delivery of all the essential ingredients that are in this eye gel, like caffeine and hydrolyzed collagen, into your skin. So once these are in place, you can take them off after five minutes. However, I try to leave mine on as much as possible, so I just put them on at night, maybe leave them on for a couple hours while I do things or just relax in bed watching YouTube videos. And when I take them off, voila, that whole under eye area is super hydrated and moisturized. And then all I do is just tap any excess product that may be on my cheeks into that area and it just feels so good. So for me, these under eye patches are an A+. I love under eye gel patches. I use them several times a week and I am really fond of Patchology's products. These were their Flash Patch Rejuvenating Eye Gels. This next product I'm testing out from Patchology is their Warm Up Perfect 10 Self Warming Hand and Cuticle Mask. This Perfect 10 mask was sent to me from Patchology for my review. The ingredients in this mask are macadamia oil, shea butter, and rosehip oil. Three great ingredients for hydration. I love hand masks. My hands are probably one of the ugliest parts of my body. Maybe my feet. I don't know. It says these hand masks use the same insulation 
and technology as space blankets. They are self-warming hand and cuticle masks. They're supposed to be deeply moisturizing. And the reflective material is supposed to create a heat barrier to lock in natural body heat and also gently raise the temperature inside the glove. Your hands are supposed to have a very comfy warmth and all those rich, delicious butters and oils that are the ingredients in these masks are supposed to deeply hydrate, rejuvenate rough, chapped hands, soften the cuticle, and just make your hands look younger. This is a coconut-infused formula, intensely moisturizing, and like I said, it has macadamia oil, which is a rare free radical fighting omega-7. It has ultra-rich shea butter, which supports healthy cell turnover and promotes healing. And it contains rosehip oil, which I do use a lot, which improves skin's elasticity and is supposed to reduce the appearance of any scars. So this is my ugly before. I have really sun-damaged hands from being outside so much biking. You can see all the spots and all the lines and wrinkles and so dry in this dry climate that I live in in Colorado. And I have the warming gloves next to me, so I am going to crack open open this perfect 10 mask and all it says to do is unfold the gloves, apply to clean dry hands, seal it, and then just relax for 10 minutes or longer, which I did. I left these on for actually about an hour and I can feel all the ingredients inside this glove. It is loaded with ingredients. It feels actually quite nice. My only problem with these gloves, and I will tell you it right now, is mine never warmed up. I don't know if I had a defective pair of gloves, but I never noticed any self-warming action at all. The one thing I did notice is though, the before and after picture, I thought my skin looked a little hydrated. I mean, I actually felt like these gloves moisturized my skin. I just wish that they would have heated up. So like I said, maybe I got a defective pair of gloves. I did not notice any warming. It did feel nice to have these on and treat my hands. I think I probably would have to use these masks a little bit more often to really get the full benefit. I don't think one try is going to miraculously cure all this dryness on my hands and very very ragged cuticles, but I like them. So maybe next time I will get a pair that actually has the self-warming action. The last product I'm going to show you from Patchology is one of their masks. This is the Milk Peel 5-Minute Flash Mask. This was sent to me from Patchology for my review. This 5-minute milk peel flash mask is called their friendly refinisher. It's supposed to quickly dissolve dead cells. It's supposed to smooth and brighten the skin without any irritation. Inspired by Korean beauty, it's plant-based, and this flash mask is supposed to be gentle enough for sensitive skin, making it the perfect peel for first-timers. It contains AHA lactic acid and fruit enzymes from papaya, pineapple, and grapefruit, which will help promote a gentler peel, while the coconut and soy milk ingredients will work to soothe and moisturize. It also contains green tea, which provides antioxidant protection from environmental toxins. I have really enjoyed the masks that I've gotten from Patchology. This one contains lactic acid. It also contains coconut and soy milk. They all work together to help dissolve the dead skin cells. It should give you a smoother, brighter complexion without any irritation. So this should be really good for people that have sensitive skin, and it should make your skin glow and look really hydrated. Usually, traditional sheet masks will take up to 20 minutes to work. Patchology's advanced mask material will help accelerate the delivery of all the essential ingredients into your skin. It also contains their HydraSearch 5 moisture system, which also deeply hydrates the skin, so you shouldn't lose any essential moisture from the whole masking process. Like I said before, this mask is good for people that have sensitive skin, first-time users, and even people that are old-timer maskers like me. I've always enjoyed Patchology masks. They've always stayed on my skin beautifully, never slip and slide all over. And then after I take the mask off, I will just rub in all the leftover ingredients into my skin, just let it soak in overnight, 
and their masks are usually uber hydrating. So I really liked this Milk Peel 5-Minute Mask. It made my skin feel very smooth. It felt like it did remove some of those dead skin cells. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the masks from Patchology that I'm enjoying. All the information for all these products will be down in the description box. Take care, everyone, and I will talk to you soon.